<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We turned Shana's mic on here. Uh, back in the kitchen with Shana Conrad. She um, is all about health and uh, cooking. That's her passion. That's her mission. She's a wife and mom. And uh, she, you, are the boys, your boys eat anything. I'm so impressed. They do, but it's kind of from birth it's been this way. So I think that might be easier. But it's never too late to start it either. Isn't. You just have to never give up. And keep <laughs> working on them. If you, you know, keep, I really have found that if you keep putting, like, just veggie and dip trays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I just always put one out. Yes. I just do. And yes. you know, all of a sudden they start going toward well, it. Just because they try it today and they say that they don't like it doesn't mean that if you try it in two weeks, they're not going to like it. You just have to keep, I agree. it's just like everything else, I being I a agree. parent. You just I have agree. to be persistent yep. and you know, but if you start young, young, it's a little bit easier maybe. Oh, so. well this is a fun one. Um, mm -hmm. We're actually gonna do pita pocket sandwiches, um, which are perfect for a road trip or a picnic. And we're using hummus and pita bread. Hummus, so I have to tell you a funny story about hummus. So I was doing a cooking demo at, um, a, a, at a, a middle school. So a bunch of seventh and eighth graders, um, sixth, seventh and eighth graders in, in Plymouth actually. And this was just a, a month or two ago. And so um, they wanted to do healthy recipes. So. I made hummus. Most of them had never heard of it, or right. if they heard of it, they'd never tried it. So I had about 10 uh, people come up on stage, a lot of them boys, and every single one of them, when they tried it, they were I like, it. yeah, this is okay. I wouldn't mm -hmm. say they loved it, but I would say that they were open to it, and I could tell that they would eat it again. Yes, you know what I mean? First step. But no one mm -hmm. went like, ugh. Right. Uh, hummus is very in now. It's, <laughs> you know, and kids are packing it in their lunches, and I think your kids will eat it. Anne, who's the pickiest eater ever, likes hummus. <laughs> So there you go. There you go. And yeah. it's basically just ground up, you know, chickpeas, mm -hmm. a little lemon juice, garlic. <coughs> this is happening yep. to be a roasted red pepper. It comes in lots of different flavors. You yep. can make your own. You can totally you can make buy your own. it. It's uh, one of my favorite things um, to make. But it's just, I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. I, I do. Love it too. So, and it's, um, do your boys like it? Yes, they just dip vegetables with it, actually. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's so they're great. One of their favorite vegetables is red bell peppers. And you know what? Because it's so pretty. And, and the cucumbers. They're sweet. Yeah. They're yeah. spicy. Like right. A lot of people who don't like spicy food don't like bell peppers. Right. The brighter the color of the bell pepper, the sweeter it gets. So the oranges are sweet and the yellows are sweet, but the reds are like crazy mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. I always put those on a veggie <clears throat> tray. I always put cucumber. I put yep. some different veggies besides celery and carrots and broccoli because exactly. you know they were a little bored with those okay exactly. so you're putting me to work here we're starting hey, with whole wheat pita of course it's got to be the whole wheat we stuff and already. oh you already did mm -hmm. okay good you got you should work <laughs> here so all right and then um we, these are the pocket ones we yep. want to get the pocket not the flatbread Correct. okay mm -hmm. and then you want me to cut these into four we're going to quarter them okay because it's easier to get your stuff in that way okay and they're going to pack a little bit nicer so yes okay. they'll be cuter in the bags okay so I'm on hummus patrol. So basically, we're just gonna I'm gonna spread hummus See inside. See how easy it is yeah. to get in there? Very mm -hmm. nice. Okay, so I'll work on that. Okay, I'll so while you spread hummus, yep. I am mm -hmm. going to chop vegetables so that we have a variety of different things to throw in there. Okay. Hummus. I don't like when the cucumbers roll away from me. And most kids love cucumbers. That's one of the first vegetables. Yes. Even my picky picky. College son Riley loves cucumbers. So. Carrots and cucumbers and celery are probably the simplest yep. if you just want to yep. start. Yep. Um, and cucumbers might be that first step toward like real vegetables. Yep. So, so a couple of cukes in here. You could do some sprouts. Mm -hmm. so. We've got some organic, maybe carrots over there, shredded already for my convenience. And so yeah, you didn't sit there and hand shred those. Those come in a bag already Correct. done, right? Yeah. Those are great. You can Love shred that. them if you'd like. Oh no, thank <laughs> you. I'll take a pass on that. So you know, you can put in here what you like. Yeah, mushrooms we'll do a couple different ones or whatever you have, like in that bottom of the produce drawer. So these look actually like a fun little hors d'oeuvre for ladies' night. They would like be a very party. fun. Mm -hmm. Little and wine. easy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but you can individually package them in little baggies to take with you. I'll put some mushrooms in this. And then one. depending on what you're in the mood for, just throw that in there. And they can sit out. That's, of course, the biggest thing because of today's theme, the whole road trip idea, mm -hmm. the fact that these can sit next to you mm -hmm. while you're driving. Mm -hmm. No mayo. Nope. You don't have to worry if you're taking them on a picnic. You don't have and to worry like about the And like lunch meat. Lunch yep. meat's one of those things that I just don't like to leave out. Yep. And so, yeah, I agree. Um, even though that would be convenient and delicious, it doesn't make me the most comfortable. Yep, so I, I totally agree. And save these that for right out of the fridge. So healthy, too. And as we mentioned earlier, these road trips can add up. And, you know, even just I was... I mentioned my road trip to uh, out to New York. Mm -hmm. Stopped a couple times. My husband's a big snacker on road trips. Like it keeps him busy. He's doing the driving, most of the driving. Yeah. So you know he's got to have something to snack on. And so I was buying like bags of almonds and things. Like, they were like seven dollars at the oh, little, little bags, absolutely. you know, at these places because they can get it for yes. them. So it's a bring, convenience store. Yes, <laughs> bring your own snackies. That yep. is my tip. And you know, healthy, um, fun stuff like uh, Shana's granola bars. He's, he would love these. These are a little, you know. 
guilt-free awesome. little nibbles. So pretty. Yeah, yeah, really fun. So we're just going to keep piling things up. Now while I'm doing this, again, tell everybody about your business. My business is called Make Me Hot Meals. That is the easiest way to find us. It's MakeMeHotMeals.com. Okay. And basically, you go there, and there is a menu available for you to look at. And if you find things that you like, and you go on and you order them, you pay right there. You can do meals, you can do pizzas, you can add you know, a little bit of each. And as long as you order by Friday, the food is at your door on Monday. Really? Yes. Wow, okay. So we sometimes get garage codes from people and stick stuff in the fridge in the garage. We sometimes just have them leave a cooler out for us. And um, we even same day ship anywhere in the United States in styrofoam coolers. So they show up on your doorstep and when you get home it's cold and ready for you and then you can take the meals in and have them for the week. And uh, affordable, like people I think think, um, you know, how could I afford that? That's like a private chef. So Okay, if you go to Panera, for example, and you get a sandwich and a salad and a cup of coffee, it's probably going to be 12 to 15 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just, you get some protein, you get some carbs, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, per serving, all of our meals are $14. You don't have to drive there, you don't have to tip, you don't have any dirty dishes, you didn't have to wait in the line, you didn't have to wait for a server. Like it's the ultimate of convenience at the same price that you would pay to go out. And we're talking salmon and tenderloin and shrimp and I mean the best cuts of meat, all organic vegetables, all preservative free carbohydrates. Like it's just, it's beautiful, clean, healthy eating. And you just throw it in the oven or uh, cook throw it Throw it in the oven, throw it on the stove yeah, or yeah. reheat it in the microwave. Whatever, cooking on. according to package directions. Exactly. Uh, okay, so how, and, oh, that's a great idea. Gift yeah. certificate for you people. You can gift it to others with certificates or you could go on, yes, and just send it to them. All um, right, wonderful. Exactly. Um, again, the website? MakeMeHotMeals.com. I think that's easy to remember. I think so too. All right, <laughs> Shana, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much. And we'll put her um, no bake granola bar recipe and then these wonderful, fun little cool. veggie pita pockets uh, recipe on a website. We'll be right back to wrap things up. Stay with us. <laughs>